Hello, I'm Caesar, and today we're going to talk about a PySight Qt, of course, and how to load UI files from Qt Designer dynamically at runtime uh, through PySight to load our UIs, basically. So before going going on into this, I would like to say that this workflow it's okay but it's somehow limited as you don't have too much control on the widget itself so you, you can extend them or you know go custom so as long as you are using very simple UIs this should be enough and it's very approachable and it's so good but as you get more familiar with Qt and maybe work more advanced stuff but uh, this will not cut it. This will not be enough on the long run. So I highly recommend go in a more code based workflow, get familiarized with that, because that, that opens a lot of doors, right? But for people starting out, uh, I think this is a good way to go to get started. And everyone has to start somewhere. So yes, let's, why not? So let's get started. Um, so just create an empty directory here. There's nothing there. And we're going to work here. Uh, so let me go to Qt Designer. So I have loaded Qt Designer and I'm going to create a new dialog. Uh, the type of dialog or the template, it's important. So you have to remember which one, if you're working on a widget or it's a main window, it's a dialog or whatever. It, it's kind of, it's a big deal. <laughs> so we're going to pick a dialog. Uh, so create. And uh, Qt Designer allows you to design your UI using standard or registered widgets. Uh, so you can drag and drop stuff, basically. So we'll put some buttons there. I don't know, uh, a list view or widget here and who knows right uh volume slider so you can like graphically create your ui that's the whole purpose of this not give functionality but just create the view basically so let me delete all this stuff uh for today and to keep it really simple and make this quick a quick video we're going to create just a push push button it's a simple button um, and we're going to assign some functionality to this, probably printing something, right? So we we are being all this time in widget edit widget mode, but there are more modes, and I encourage encourage you to take a look. But for now, we're going to take a look at this signals and slot mode, and this allows us to create signals and connect signals with the slots so in Qt every widget uh, can emit some signal and or can receive some signal so I'm going to drag and drop from the bottom to the dialog the background and I'm going to say I want the button push button to emit a signal called clicked and I want the dialog to receive that signal through a slot code and here are, are the built-in options right so you have accept, open, reject, whatever but the cool thing is you can create your own slots so we're going to create our own code my slot so we're going to say the push button will emit a signal call click, click and dialog will implement a slot called my slot that will receive the signal. So when we click the button, we are basically calling that method, that function. And that's pretty much it. That's how we get works. So let me resize this a little bit. Oops, too much. That's the button and let's save this. So in my folder and I will save this as view.ui. You can save it whatever you want. So we have that file now. And the next step is just create our 
python file and load that ui right so we're going to create that like this that would be controller dot pi could be whatever and we need to do a few things here we need to import system that's from the standard library and from oops, pi side we we're going to import qt gui so all the widgets uh, are there that's the module with the widgets so we need to create a qt application and the way that work is uh, there's in Qt GUI there's a Q application so we need to instantiate that and the arguments are the argument values from the system and then we're going to say to the system to exit oops, the interpreter when the execution of the application returns true so this start the application loop and that's a Qt application but this is doing nothing right now so here in the middle we can for example create a dialog right so Qt -Y .Q dialog and then we can say dialog.show and that show the dialog so if I run this I have a empty dialog so that's pretty much the basics so that's all good but this is showing a standard dialog right and our dialog this one implements a custom slot has a button it's kind of different so we need to extend this dialog and the way to do that is through subclassing so we can create a class here called controller or whatever you feel like and the super class would be qty.q uh, dialog we pick a dialog in Qt designer so it's important to match that and we are going to get all the arguments and keyword keyword arguments and pass that to supper so if I run this oh so we have our controller and here instead of instantiate a basic dialog I can say controller right so if I run this we have exactly the same result because we haven't implemented anything yet but this is controller now so that's good the next step is load the UI unfortunately PySight doesn't include a ready to use really straightforward way to compile and the, compile the UI file at runtime it has the, the basics to build one but you don't have a ready to use one right so you can build your own or we can you know take advantage of open source and use whatever other people have been doing to solve this problem so if you go to the internet and look for PySci dynamic the first hit <laughs> is this library here well this gist and this is basically doing just that you know so that's the implementation and the license I think is MIT so it's so good we can get this code so we're going to download this save it in our project make sure that you don't modify the license uh, you don't claim to be the author of this you know play nice with open source basically and now in our code I want to import that so from I think it's by side dynamic yes import load UI awesome and here we're going to go load UI and the first argument is the UI file in this case it's view.ui and the second argument is the widget receiving that information in this case itself is the dialog itself so if I run this we now have the interface created in Qt designer and I can push the button and all that stuff so that's good but there's some error here 
saying that there's no such a slot called my slot. And that's because I haven't implemented that yet in dialog, right? So let's do that. And the way to implement a slot is through a method. So we can say a method called my slot. And let's say I want to print uh, hello world every time we click the button. And the way to say PySide that this is actually a slot and not just a method is through a decorator. So we need to import Qtcore core and decorate this. So Qt core dot I think it's called a slot. And it's a class, so we pass an instance of that. And we don't have any error now. And every time I push the button, there's a hello world message there. So that way we can implement whatever we want. Every time we push a button or something, you know, every time we receive some si signal. And there are different signals depending on the we get. So that's one thing. The, the other thing I would like to say is, let's say we want to change the text of the widget, the button itself. So we need to get access to the widget. And the way to do it is if you look at the name of the button, push button. So I can say self dot push button dot let's say sex set text. And we're going to say click me again or something. So if I click the button now, it will change the text to click me again and print hello world. So you have access to all the widgets created through the Qt designer. And that's pretty much it. So this is for a standalone application. If you're trying to use this in a hosted environment, let's say Maya, the only difference really is that you don't need to create the application because it's Maya, right? You don't need to exit the the interpreter because Maya handled that. <laughs> so you don't need this, you don't need that. And you need to, the only thing, the only requirement is that you need to pass the parent window here. And the parent window would be the Maya UI, for example. So in this case, it's a standalone application, so we don't have any parent. But in Maya, we will have Maya as a parent, as a host of this interface. And that's pretty much it. All the rest of the code, all the slot and the subclassing is exactly the same. So that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope you like it. I will put uh, links to PySide Dynamic and this code, this gist, uh, this snippet basically, in the description. So yeah, I hope you like it and see you in the next one. Bye bye.